Afghanistan Fakunda Mutaj. I could have instead gone with Danish central midfielder Nadia Nadim, who was actually born in Herat and fled to Denmark at only 12 years of age following the ongoing war. But no, instead we're going to go with Fakunda Mutaj, a 26 year old central midfielder who notably aided in the evacuation of Afghanistani civilians from the Taliban regime and who is currently a bench warmer for Fortuna Sittard in the Dutch woman's era division. Albania, Megidoc. Again, we could cheat and say that Kosovare Aslani, the 34-year-old Swedish attacking midfielder on the books of AC Milan and previously Real Madrid, is notably from Kosovar Albanian descent. But no, instead we're going with 27-year-old Albanian national team center forward Megidoc. Megidoc, a place for for KF Vlasnia Schroeder in the Albanian first division holds the goal scoring record for the Albanian national team and spanked in this beauty of a free kick against Real Madrid in the UCL but then again scoring against that leaky defense is like stealing candy of a baby Andorra Tere Morat, the only notable Andorran woman's footballer I could find is Teresa Morato Armengo, an Andorran centre forward who has played for the likes of Barcelona B, Rayo Vallecano and Villarreal, scoring 12 goals for the national team and becoming their top scorer in the process. Angola. Irene Goncalves. Again, I could have chosen the easy route and could have referred to the fact that Portuguese international centre forward Jessica Silva actually has an Angolan grandma. But no, Irene Goncalves instead was basically the Pele of Angolan football, notably scoring a ridiculous 22 goals in a single match in the Angolan first division, which is still regarded as a world record within women's football. To this day. Nicknamed the Destroyer, she would go on to net a record 33 goals for the Angolan national team, cementing herself as one of the most dangerous centre forwards in African women's football history. Algeria, Marine Dafeu. Again, we could have been corny and here. said that French football legend Louisa Nesip Karamuro was actually of Algerian ancestry. That won't be necessary though, because we have Gutia Karchouni, a 20 Eight year old midfielder, whereas the likes of PSG Bordeaux and AC Milan stamped on the CV. But no, instead, I'm going to go with 29 year old left midfielder Marine Dafeu, who ditched the French youth setup and senior national team to go and play for Algeria. Renowned for skills, vision, passing ability, and tracking back in the midfield, Dafeu has enjoyed successful stints at Gengamp, Lille, and Fleury in the top tier of. French women's football. Argentina, Estefania Bani. Unlike the World Cup winning men's, the Argentine women's football team mostly consists out of bang average players at best. So unfortunately, we won't be witnessing Carlita Tevez, Paulina Dybala, and Le Leana Messi score absolute bangers anytime Instead, soon. it is a toss up between Aldana Cometti, Florencia Bonsegundo, and Estefania Bani. Not much between them to be honest considering they're all decent performers in La Liga. If I had to narrow it down to a single player I'd go with Benini. She plays for Atletico Madrid, did a panna at the World Cup and scored a banger of a free kick. Aruba, Vanessa Susan. Just like in men's football, Aruba rely on Eredivisie and Holland national team rejects. Three of those players are Aiz Gums, Vanessa Susanna and Bonnie Lomas. My pick of the Bunches, Vanessa Susanna. The 26 year old winger has played for the likes of Kievo Verona, London City Lioness, Kent PSV and Andalek. And currently plays for Adu Den Haag. Armenia, Maral Ar The fact that Armenia can lose by conceding more than we 10 goals everything. three times you know, on the bounce should tell this, you all we know that. to know about but they the give state everything. of their and national that's what woman. Counts Maral Artin, <coughs> let's be honest, the least atrocious one I could find, is a 23 year old midfielder who actually was on the books of 
Freiburg and Bayern Munich. Now plays in the Segunda Federación, the fourth tier of Spanish football. And captains the Armenian national team. Australia, Sam Kerr. Do I have to elaborate any further? Austria, Manuela Zinsberg. Austria actually produces some world-class talents, you know. You got Friar Singer, Zad Brazil, Hanshaw, Benninger, Nicole Billa, Barbara Dunst. All top-tier players. But if I had to pick between Bayern left back Katarina Nashenway and Arsenal goalkeeper Manuela Zinsberger, I just had to go with Zinsberger because on her day she is a truly world-class shot stopper. And has been for the likes of Bayern, Arsenal and the Austrian national team. Bahrain, Dina Rahman. Dina Abdul Rahman is a midfielder born in England who actually played for Arsenal in the youth set before opting to captain the Bahrain national team. Would go on to win multiple titles at Fulham and after her retirement she would go on to break five Guinness World Records. Bangladesh, Sabina Katu, captain of the national team since 2015. Bangladeshi forward Sabina Katun holds the record for most goals scored for the Bangladeshi national team male or female as well as the same record for the domestic league and rightfully so is regarded as a legendary figure back in her home country. Barbados, Rihanna Cyrus. He came in like a wrecking ball and she just went to work, 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 work. Rihanna Cyrus. Not gonna lie, mate, for the name alone, for the name... <laughs> <laughs> for the name alone. Bermuda, Kenny Thompson. Bermuda is a British overseas territory commonly associated with that location where pilots commonly decide to end it all there on the spot. Kenny Thompson is a 22-year-old left winger who actually did play for Barcelona B in the U before stints at Espanyol Deportivo La Coruña and now struggles to get game time for Ibar in La Liga. Belgium. Tessa Rula. To be fair, Belgian women's football has been on the rise in recent years, with more and more players leaving the domestic league to go and have a decent career abroad. But the obvious answer here is Tessa Rula, top scorer of the national team with over 75 goals, has won several titles at both Wolfsburg and Manchester City respectively, five-time Belgian player of the year, and is currently still banging them in for Fortuna Sittard in the Belize, Michaela Bowden. 30-year-old defender Michaela Bowden was born in the US. The centre-back has contributed six goals within 10 games in the CONCACAF Gold Cup for Belize. And is notorious for having David Luiz-esque free-kick taking ability. Belarus, Karina Olkovic. A 23-year-old striker currently scoring goals for ALG Spora in Turkey. Bosnia, Milena Nikolic. Could have gone with goalkeeper Diana Raci. Who did feed regularly for Angel City FC in the NWSL. Instead, we're going to go for Milena Nikolic, a 31-year-old striker who spent some decent seasons at Leverkusen in the Bundesliga, essentially functioning as a poor man's Edin Zek. Botswana, Rafil Wet Tolekele. Tolekele is a 27-year-old winger for Mamelodi Sundown in the South African Women's League, where she has won both the Kosafa Women's Champions League as well as the 20. 23 CAF Women's Champions League for which she got into the team of the tournament and won the Golden Boot. Brazil, Marta. Although both Christian and Formiga are honorable mentions. And I still maintain the viewpoint that if Dabinha hadn't wasted the peak of her career, rotting at the bottom of the NWSL, and was instead exposing herself to regular Champions League football. But uh, no. No, Marta is the obvious answer. Who, yes, at the peak made fully fledged professionals look like amateurs in the process. Bulgaria, Evdokia Popadinova. The 27 year old forward spent two seasons at Napoli and one at Sassuolo. And was awarded Bulgarian Female Footballer of the Year five times in Cape row. Verde Islands. Evi Pereira is a 29 year old winger, who most notably won a couple of league titles at Benfica. Cameroon, Gael Nganamu. 
the, the Samuel Eto'o of the woman. Most of you would have expected two-time African Player of the Year finalist, Inter Milan forward Ajara and Shoot to be the obvious answer here, but no. Cameroonian forward Gael Nganamu was on a similar level to Nshoot. The major difference being an accolade because Nganamu was awarded African Player of the Year in 2014 after guiding Cameroon to the 2014 African Cup of Nations final. Canada, Christine Sinclair, better than sure CR Central African Republic, Christelle Ursula Demba, is a decent centre forward. Who, funnily enough, to my surprise, actually texted me back on Instagram, playing in the outskirts of Gaziantep for ALG Sport in Turkey, Chile, Christian and three French league titles, two Coupe de France, a Champions League title, included in the FIFA Pro World 11 three times, South American team of the two time FIFA best goalkeeper, three time French division goalkeeper of the made year. the French division team of the year and twice. made the women's champions league team of the tournament a total of three times. <laughs> No wonder Chelsea prematurely <laughs> got rid. China, Sun Wen. Chinese football icon Sun Wen won the Golden Ball and Golden Boot at the World Cup in 99. Firing China to an Olympic gold medal in 98. Scoring over 100 goals for China, being voted FIFA Women's Player of the Year twice. Colombia, Mayra Ramirez. Meanwhile, Lady Andrade and Catalina Usme are exceptional playmakers. And Manuela Vanegas, who is on her day a top class right being very honorable mention. It really comes down to who is better between Linda Caicedo and Mayra Ramirez. Based on natural ability alone, it would obviously be Caicedo, who only got into the top 10 of the Ballon d'Or, based on one wonder goal at the World and Cup, and virtually hasn't proven anything yet in the sport. Therefore, I'm picking 24-year-old seasoned La Liga vet center forward Mayra Ramirez, who chipped in with a ridiculous 14 goals and 11 assists, and utterly world-class near goal contribution per game ratio for Levante in the women's La Liga. Costa Rica, Shirley Cruz, the deep-lying playmaker, spent six years at Lyon, six at PSG, became runner-up in the CONCACAF Player of the Year twice, won two Champions League titles at Lyon, and most impressively got herself in the CONCACAF Team of the Decade as the only non-American or Canadian in the team. Ivory Coast, Rosemont Cuas, Rosemont de Cuas, a 21 year old promising striker on the books of Fleury in the French league. mostly renowned for having 95 pace on feet combining immense dexterity agility and technical ability was listed among the top five best attackers in the league in the 22 23 top division in France Croatia Doris Baci an honorable mention goes out to Anna Maria Markovic whom um, you know, possesses a great deptuous personality. Doris Bacic, however, is a Croatian goalkeeper with experience in between the sticks for the likes of Rosengard, Juventus, Levante Las Planas and Nap. The 28-year-old shot stopper is captain of the Croatian national team and has three Serie A titles on her resume. Curaçao, Gelio Rosa. Curaçao, Cuco Martina. I'll be honest, I didn't even know this country existed. As a half-blood Curaçao and myself, I feel particularly offended. Apparently, in between listening to Radio Criollo, stuffing their faces with Johnny Cage, and receiving cancerous amounts of sunlight on the beach, Curaçaoans have found the time to set up a woman's football team. Waving a flag high in the sky is 19 year old right back talent Julio Rosa, who plays for Duisburg in the highest tier of German women's football. All us Curaçaoans are hoping for is that she converts to the left wing and becomes comes the Caribbean Gareth Bale, Cyprus Dre George, Andrea Giorgio, a 27 year old midfielder, born in England despite having Cypriot origins, who despite making a name for herself at West Ham, Crystal Palace and what in the championship she's never been called up for the national team. Czech Republic, Katarina Svitkova, Katarina Svitkova is a technically astute attacking midfielder, who had been nominated Czech footballer of the year four times in Top a row. To 15 16 Women's Champions League assists Charles has scored
scored 21 goals in 48 caps for the Czech Republic and played regularly in the Chelsea team that won last year's WSL title. Denmark, Pernil Harder. Absolute trophy magnet wherever she went. Someone whose accolades are honestly too much to list. Undoubtedly one of the greatest to ever take to a football pitch. Dominica, Starham. Again, I could cheat and say that Olympic gold medalist for Canada, Manchester United regular as of recently. Chad Rivière's dad is actually from Dominican descent. Despite having a pretty awful football team. Their number 10 star Humphreys is actually a decent player. Notably scoring a brace in their 2-1 win over Turks and Caicos. Making history granting Dominica its first ever win in women's football. Dominica Republic, Lucia Leon. Lucia Marte Leon is a 26 year old right wing back who has played for the likes of Tottenham, Madrid, CFF, Real Batiste. And now finds his self-employed at Watford in the championship. Dr. Kong Monique Kipoy. Monique Ruth Kipoy is a 26-year-old competent striker from Dr. Kong. Smashed home over 20 goals in the Super League last season for Gaziantep Club ALG. They really do sign every competent striker in this video, don't they? As they won the Super League that season, earning herself a move to Galatasaray. Ecuador. Curly Real. Curly Real is a 25-year-old who has made 81 appearances for Valencia as their starting right back over the last four years and is 75 rated on FIFA. Egypt, Sarah Ismail, La Masia reject. Midfielder Sarah Ismail has played for the likes of Barcelona, Espanyol and Zaragoza and is currently a free agent. England, Lucy Brown. As we all know, England has produced a wide variety of world-class players over the last few decades. Lauren Hemp, still only 23 years of age. Undoubtedly a world-class left winger. Playing week in, week out at the highest Most level. Most likely still has a decade left in the a tank. A good shout would be Ellen White, who was among the top strikers in England for over a decade. Winning multiple league titles. Being awarded England Women's Player of the Year a record three times. And who is the England all-time women's record goal scorer. Meanwhile, Lily Parr, who was by many considered the Gordon banks of women's football could definitely be considered the goat nah she was probably out there milking goats in a shed back in the 1950s the real debate is determining who is the greatest between kelly smith beth mead and lucy bronze acknowledging that both kelly smith and bethany mead have shown world-class goal scoring ability both being talismanic forwards for the national team. however i think that most of us can come to terms with the fact that lucy bronze is irreplaceable. The list of accolades speaks for itself. Four Champions League titles. Three-time PFA Player of the Year. Nominated English Player of the Year twice. Got into the FIFA World 11 five times. Made the PFA Team of the Year four times. And basically gets into any IFFHS team. Has served the national team for over a decade. Basically always the first name on the team sheet. And is most definitely by far one of the most well-rounded players I've ever had the pleasure of witnessing. Equatorial Guinea, Genoneva Anyoma, Genoneva Anyoma is by far the greatest player, male or female, to ever arise out of Equatorial Guinea. She's the nation's historical captain and all time leading goal scorer with 24 goals. Single handedly fired them to Africa Cup of Nations victory in both 2008 and 2012, scoring six and winning the Golden Boot in both tournaments. She'd go on to be named 2012 African Women's Football. Of Notably year. becoming top scorer in the 11-12 Bundesliga season, scoring 22 goals in that campaign. She would also go on to score the nation's first World Cup goal, impressively managing to score a brace against Australia during the 2011 World Cup. Estonia, Anastasia Murkov, Estonian league all-time top scorer with 773 goals, as well as for the national team with 40 goals. Anastasia Murkovkina would go on to captain the the Estonian national team for a time period of 18 years. To put that into perspective, I haven't even been alive for that long. Yet. And by the way, Ragnar Klavan is the better player anyway. 
Fiji, Trina Davis. Born in the United States of America, Trina Davis was a prominent athlete at college level. Because of having a Fijian mother, she would be eligible to play for Fiji. Would go on to net a hat trick on a day and become the first Fijian woman's footballer to sign a pro contract. Finland, Tinja Rika Korpela, a 37 year old goalkeeper with a decent track record for the likes of AS Roma, Everton, and Bayern Munich. Won two league titles in Germany and has amassed over 100 caps for the national team. France, Amandine Henry, equivalently to the English. The French have delivered a bucket load of world class players over the last few generations. Names such as Diani Ketoto, Bonpastor Le Sommet, Camille Abi, and Luisa Nisi all deserve more than honorable mentions, but I'm sorry. The real debate is most likely between Wendy Renard and Amandine Henry. I really wanted to go for Renard, but you can't deny the midfield general that was Amandine Henry, notorious for her thunderous right foot, inch perfect passing skill, reading of the game, positional awareness, and elegancy of play. Henry would go on to win seven Champions and leagues, and would amass 12 French league titles at least. Basically, Busquets, Busquets was renowned for consistently banging in long shots all the time. The Gambia, Fatumata Kante Icham. Fatumata Kante Icham. Fatumata Kante Icham. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Is name. a 25 year old forward for Villarreal. In the Spanish women's she's league. A, she's a regular in the starting 11 and. Yeah, nothing else to mention. Germany, Birgit Prince. Too many to mention, but I'll try anyway. Alexandra Pop, Nadine Kessler, The Bridge, Marozan Mitak, Oberdorf, Nadine Angerich, Celia Sasic, Jennifer Marozan, and Lena Gerz. None of them have a 92 rated icon card in FC24. On a more serious note, though, Birgit Prince. I've seen few attackers come as versatile as her. With the ability to use both her feet, beat defenders on pace in a dribble, or with brute fit. Physical strength. Being an aerial threat, he was also able to do half volley bicycle kicks. Birgit Prins was one of Germany's key players as the nation clinched five international trophies within the span of 12 years and is the nation's record cap holder and goal scorer of all time. Ghana, Alberta Secchi, both Grace Ojoa Bayou and Alberta Secchi got nominated African Player of the Year in both 2002 and 2003. But I feel obliged to pick Secchi, would go on to score a race against Australia and score a memorable goal awarded the greatest goal in women's world cup history to give Ghana their first ever win at the women's world cup tour Greece Anastasia Spiridonido a by all means pretty unremarkable forward Spiridonido has amassed three goals in eight appearances for Parma this season and bangs them in for the Greece national team on a semi-regular basis too. Guatemala Ana Lucia Martinez both Ana Lucia Martinez and Andrea Alvarez are absolute wet pudding center forwards at both Pomigliano in Italy and Ibar in La Liga. Lucia Martinez has more experience playing for various clubs in Italy and Spain. So yeah, I'm picking her. Granada, Nia Thompson. Nia Fleming Thompson is a half-decent 19-year-old Grenadian winger who plays semi-professionally in Canada. She's netted six times in the CONCACAF Gold Cup, which is a tally thus far only bettered by Lyon forward Melanie. Du Mornay. Guyana, Sydney Cummings. A by all means bang average centre back. Wasn't deemed good enough for the San Diego Wave. Was shipped out on loan to the A-League. And recently joined Celtic in Scotland. Haiti, Melchi Du Mornay. Du Mornay is a 20 year old sensation and potential future Ballon d'Or winner who averaged the goal contribution per game ratio for Stad Rene. Stuck five past Christian Entler during the 22 23 campaign. Tingle Handedly qualified Haiti for their first ever World Cup. Captain the nation at set tournament. Put in a player of the match performance in that opening game against England. Was awarded Young Player of the Year in France last season. Secured a blockbuster summer move to Olympique Lyon. Was awarded CONCACAF Best Young Player and included in the best 11. Has a 90 potential on FIFA career mode, which is the highest in her age group and position. And topped last year's 
NXT list for best footballer under the age of 21 alongside Jude Bellingham. Never mind generational, Du Mornay is a once in a lifetime phenomenon who can flawlessly rotate between the 8, 9 and 10 positions due to her immensely versatile skill set. With the Stad Rene coach literally stating that she's never seen anyone as good as her in her lifetime. Du Mornay makes me very proud to be half Caribbean. Hungary, Jennifer Maroza. Listen, for Hungary, it's probably between Inter Milan midfielder Henrietta Sissia, Leverkusen central defender Lila Turan, and their all time record goal scorer Fanny Vaz. None of them sound particularly interesting, so we're going to go for Jennifer Maroza. Which is the most obvious Hungarian sounding name I've ever come across in my entire life. She also has Hungarian parents and was literally born in Budapest. So her going around and trying to convince people that she ain't Hungarian. It's kind of like Gonf trying to convince people that he isn't black. Iceland, Sara Gunnarsdottir. For Iceland in particular, three players come to mind. Bayern's Godis Perla Vigosdottir, who often showcases defensive ability. Bordering the world-class territory. 22-year-old right-wing prodigy Svendis Jane Jonsdottir, who has consistently shown signs of if she isn't one already. Becoming a truly unstoppable right wing. 33 year old Sarah Björk Gunnarsdottir has won Icelandic Sports Person of the Year twice, as well as seven consecutive Icelandic Women's Footballer of the Year awards, and amassed over 20 domestic trophies and two UCL titles, and therefore is Iceland's greatest ever women's football. India, Nagagum Balade. Obviously, not to be confused with Devi Vishwakuma from the teenage Netflix drama series. Nagagum Baladevi is a 33 year old Indian striker who fired in 52 goals from 64 caps for the national team and has won the most Indian player of the year awards in the women's category. Practically functioning as a reverse sectional Chetri. Ireland, Katie McKay. Honorable mentions for Ireland include Olivia O'Toole, an FAI Hall of Famer, who for a long time actually helped the Irish goal scoring record. until it was eventually broken by Robbie Keane in September 2012. Emma Byrne who undeniably must have been a world class goalkeeper to rack up a record 400 appearances for Arsenal and to have amassed over 100 caps for Ireland within the span of a 20 year long career. But no based on the fact that I never saw Emma Byrne play I'm gonna have to go for Katie McKay. An undeniably world class footballer widely regarded as one of if not the most versatile women's footballer on the planet. McCabe can operate as a fullback, a wingback, a left mid, a winger, a left forward, heck, give her the gloves and make her the goal. Great defensive awareness, vision, stamina, determination, insane shot power, natural leadership qualities and loads of cojones and the ability to score Olympic goals at the World Cup are just some of the reasons why Katie McCabe is an absolute joy to watch. With the average Irish guy lining up to kiss her feet. Israel Sharon Beck. Born in Germany 28 year old 79 rated Israeli attacking midfielder. Sharon Beck is currently on the books of Cologne in the Bundesliga and has delivered 10 goal contributions within 4 games for Israel. In the first edition of the Women's Nations League. Italy Carolina Moracci. Now naturally my initial response would have been to highlight the severely criminally underrated utterly world class genius Inzaghi-esque poacher Christiana Girelli who was of course unfairly benched at the world disrespectfully Cup. only given half an hour on the pitch in total and somehow still managed to contribute to all three of Italy's goals at the tournament. At this point I wouldn't be surprised if the Italian fans demanded a petition that would see Ciro Immobile disbanded from the national team and replaced by Cristiana Girelli. But I'm going to have to pick Carolina Morace instead. Described by FIFA as without a doubt the greatest in Italian women's football history, Morace was an unfathomably prolific Italian forward during the mid 90s, scoring over 100 goals and 153 caps and over 500 at club level. Holds the distinction 
of having scored the first ever Women's World Cup hat-trick and is the first woman to be inducted into the Italian Football Hall of Fame. Northern Ireland, Rachel Furness. Both Rachel Furness and Simone McGill are very, um, let's say, players of a limited quality. Rachel Furness, currently bottom of the league with Bristol City, is their number 10 and current record goal scorer. Jamaica, Khadija Shaw. Probably one of the easiest picks in this entire list. Khadija Shaw is pretty much an unstoppable force who for the most part pretty much bullies defenders on a weekly basis. Whether that's on the ball, in holder play, physical duels, aerial battles. The Manchester City striker is a true force of nature. Probably ate a bit too much KFC. And of course, chicken with big flavor. With 42 goals from 55 caps, she's both Jamaica's record cap holder and goal scorer. Won the golden boot in both France and England. Is currently topping the WSL goal scoring chart. And is unanimously regarded as the best striker within the CONCACAF region. She kind of reminds me of a prime Romelu Lukaku. Japan, Homare Sawa. Since winning the Women's World Cup back in 2011, Japan has nurtured a whole host of world-class players such as Saki Kumagai, Nagasato, Anya Miyama, Yui Hasegawa, and of course, Hinata Miyazawa, who is apparently good enough to win a golden boot at the World Cup, but barely gets a look in at Manchester United. Looking every inch an overrated Shinji Kagawa S. Manchester United fool. None of them compared to the impeccable Homare Sawa. Widely regarded as one of the finest women's footballers of all time. Sawa combined skill, vision, creativity, leadership and immense technical ability. Was capped over 200 times for Japan within a 20 year time span. Captaining the nation to their 2011 World Cup triumph in Germany. Being awarded both the Golden Boot and the Golden Ball for her performances at the tournament. As well as being nominated 2011 FIFA Ballon d'Or winner. Has an amazing 91 rated card on FIFA. Which looking at her highlights is absolutely warranted. And has often been subject to comparisons with Andres Iniesta. Jordan Maisa Giovanna. 34 year old forward for Al Nasser in Saudi. Maisa Zaid Mahmoud Jabara Is Jordan's all time record goal scorer. With 133 from 129 caps. Kenya Mariolen Nekes. For Kenya, up steps Mariolen Nekes Awafula. A pretty exciting 25 year old forward who is currently top scorer in the Czech League and receives regular game time in the Champions League for Slavia Prague. Korea DPR. We come suck. It certainly gets very interesting once you realize that North Korea are in the top 10 FIFA Women's World Rankings. My guesstimate is that the Supreme Leader must have done some shady business in the background to get this one over the line. However though, Recom Suck, which is a very um, sussy baka name by the way, was the nation's number 10 during the early 2000s, as well as their all-time record goal scorer, and guided the Supreme Nation toward victory against Nigeria, scoring an absolute beauty against them in the 2007 World Cup group stage, and subsequently was named AFC Player of the Year. South Korea, Ji So Yun. Best player you've played with? In and around it, Ji. Why do you think she is so good? Just te techie and reads the game well. South Korean attacking midfielder Ji So Yun was a creative, artistic number 10, who during the mid 2010s quickly became a fan favorite at Chelsea, with whom she would win several domestic trophies. She is also the all time Korean WNT top scorer with 69 goals and has won more Korean Player of the Year awards than you can count on one hand. Kosovo, Ereleta Meme. First and foremost, she's got a big, juicy personality. Is a 24 year old winger who currently plays for Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga, has played for Germany at youth level, and is the current national team top scorer with 10 goals. Lusutu Boitumelu Rabale, 27 year old Mamalodi Sundowns forward Boitumelu Rabale, captains the national team and won the 2023 African Champions League alongside Rafilwe Tolek Hele, subsequently being named player of the tournament. Luxembourg, Amy Thompson, 29 year old attacking
Chelsea midfielder Amy Thompson. Is obviously their all-time leading goal scorer with 26 goals. With the Luxembourg national coach literally stating, quote, She's a bit like Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> indicating that Thompson is by far the most competitive player in the squad. Madagascar, a penguin. Malawi, Tabitha Chawinga. Ah yes, Tabitha Chawinga, arguably the most underrated forward in the entirety of women's football. After having netted prolifically in both the Swedish and Chinese first division, Tabitha Chawinga fired in 23 goals in as many games on loan at AC Milan last season. Quite literally emulating prime Samuel Eto'o in the process. As she claimed the Serie A Golden Boot, nominated player of the year in Italy, got into the CAF team of the year, and was nominated for the women's team of the year in FC24. Now, on a second consecutive loan spell away from Chinese parent club Wuhan, Chawinga is currently still racking up the goal contributions in the capital of France. The 27-year-old has so far contributed to 20 goals in 20 games for PSG in France this season. And it is evident to me that we're dealing with a generational talent here. Mali, Aysata Traoré. Uh, by all means, unremarkable left wing. Traoré gets regular game time for relegation threatened gang rooted at the bottom of the top division in France. Although I must mention that she did win a league title with Besiktas, so not all too bad, I guess. Malta, Haley Bougea. So here we have 19-year-old Wonder Kid center forward Haley Bougea, who at the tender age of 15 already netted prolifically in the Maltese League, therefore prompting a move to Sassuolo for the 2020-21 season, where she would go on to score 12 goals in 18 Serie A appearances. During her debut season as a 16-year-old rookie, as she got nominated Best Young Player of the Season, and was nominated the most promising young woman's footballer in the world. She's currently a runner-up in the Nations League top scorers list, having recently signed for Inter Milan as a 19-year-old. The sky is essentially the limit for this immensely talented baller. Martinique Wendy Renard. Martinique is a French overseas territory, so technically people from Martinique are also French. But anyway, uh, yeah, the national team is kind of filled with uh, French league football. Most of them probably have the footballing ability of a squashed banana. So yeah, taking into consideration that Wendy Renard was literally born on the island, I feel justified in picking the greatest ever defender in women's football history. Mexico, Carlin Corral. Although many Mexican sources led me to believe that Maribel Dominguez, who is regarded as a legend in her home country, is the best Mexican women's footballer of all time. And to be fair, she netted 15 times in 31 appearances for the Barca women's team during the 05-06 campaign, with that being her only season in La Liga. By contrast, Carlin Corral Ang spent multiple seasons in the Spanish top flight, spent more than a decade playing for the likes of Levante and Atletico Madrid, registering double digits in both goals and assists during five consecutive seasons in La Liga, often challenging the likes of Hermoso for the Golden Boot during the mid-2010, scoring 35 goals and 70 caps for Mexico, essentially being the Mexican Mayra Ramirez, Montenegro Armiza Kuch, 31-year-old forward Armiza Kuch, contributed to six goals in as many games in the Nations League, is her nation's record cap holder and goal scorer, and is currently runner-up in the Turkish League goal scoring charts, playing for Ankara-based side, from Get GSK, Morocco Gislaine Cheba, a very dishonorable mention goes out to Tottenham's Rosella Ayam, whose goal scoring record makes me want to throw up, Moroccan women's national team captain, top cap holder and goal scorer, Gislaine Chebak won over 20 domestic trophies in the Moroccan league, and three African women's champions league, single handedly guided Morocco to the silver medal at last year's Africa Cup, as the Moroccan number 10 got nominated as player of the tournament, and finally, Myanmar win Tengi Tun, is Myanmar's all-time national team top goal scorer and impressively ranks 18th in the all-time top scorers list in the entirety of the international women's game. Many, many thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.